Hey guys, it's Scott from Asiang Buhai and Christian and Roz are here with me. I uh, just wanted to make a pre-video before the real video. Uh, Roz is about to make my paparito na sinigang and uh, I'm going to show you from the beginning all the way to the end to the taste. It's going to be really great. So um, enjoy this video and before you go, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, all that good stuff. Anyway, enjoy. Bye. <laughs> Actually, in Seafood City, two miles away lang sa amin. Since it's three of us, kunti lang kakainin namin. Ito siguro, ayan. And ang price niya is 967, pero kompleto na lahat. Ayan. So, may mga tanim din sila. And that is malunggaw. It's $39. Ang hirap tumubo ang malunggaw dito, kaya mahal. Dalawa lang kasi ako lang ng kakain. So, minsan hindi rin naman kami umuwi. We have everything here na meron kayo dyan. Ayan, angel, mga gatas, and some tea. All right. I'll see you guys at home. So I'm just gonna wash all this and prep, and then we'll start cooking. All right. Ready na nakat na to. Kulang na makakain ito. So, konti lang. Dahil sabaw lang yung kinakain ng dalawa. They don't really eat these vegetables. So, i-ready lang natin ito lahat. I-prep para mas madaling magluto pag nandiyan na. Ayan, the talong is all here. I'm not fond of eating talong. Eggplant. Pero, nakokomplete yung lasa ng soup pag kompleto yung sinigang na ingredients mo. Mahilig ako sa vegetables. So, this one. Scott loves to eat this one too. So, dadagdagan ko yung dahon ko. This is the pet chai. But I'm gonna add more because I love vegetables, especially the sabaw. So, talagang ko ng maraming vegetables. Ayan. Dasan ko muna to. At minsan may uod and I don't like uod kasi tapat ako. So, I have to make sure. Ayan. Hugasan lang natin ng maigi. 
make sure na walang mga worms at pag meron oh no natatakot ako oh, I'm scared of worms so I'll make sure wala kasi may mga this is organic so may mga kain ng mga worms to may mga butas butas so make sure wala Pero alam nyo, habang hinugasan ko to, yung dibdib ko, ang lakas na kaba kasi baka may makita ako. <laughs> And I will just really scream dahil takot talaga ako. So, I'm praying now what sana meron dahil pakakatapos. Okay. Almost matatapos na. Hmm. Alright pala. Yes. Yan. Wrap lang natin to. Spray pa natin just to make sure talaga. Okay na yan. Tap lang natin. Then, we do the pork. So, then, medyo malaki siya. separate ko to kasi inuuna kong nilalagay yung mga, yung matigas na part niya, yung ganyan. So, I put this one first before dito sa soft na dahon niya. So, si separate lang natin yan. And then, when we're done, we'll start cooking. Yung sinigang. Medyo malamig dito ngayon sa amin, kaya yung iba hindi na to pinuputol. Pero, I don't like the hard part. So, kunin ko. Ayan. I put a lot of vegetables kasi paborito ko yung vegetables. Alam mo, I realize na pag nagkakaedad ka nga, naiiba na yung taste mo, taste buds mo, you appreciate more yung mga healthy foods. Like, I don't really eat this vegetable when I was little and now na may kakaedad and you know what happened to me lately na na-hospitalize ako na sa cardiac arrest. So, I have to make sure that I will eat healthy and more on vegetable side na. Ang kinakain ko na kasi pag hindi ka you have to up, I mean sa akin I appreciate vegetables now. Hindi mo ma, kasi marirealize na na life is still good. You wanna live longer. You wanna live hanggang sa pagtanda mo na makita mo naman na pag nagkapamilya rin yung anak mo. And it's a long road for me na mangyayari yan kasi bata yung anak ko. So, balatan lang natin itong taro. Usually, ginagamit ko yung big taro na nabalatan na. When I cook, gusto ko yung madaling lutuin. I love to cook yung madaling lutuin. For some, sa mga Pinoy kasi, this is yung yung masarap na soup, lalo na pag malamig, yung sinigang, isa sa mga soup na masarap kainin. Maraming mga, mga dish na soup, pero ito yung, yung pinaka, isa sa mga paborito ko. Uh, meron din kaming mga ibang sabaw, sa bakolod, na masasarap. Like, I like the KBL, which is, uh, gagawin natin yun soon. KBL stands for Um, K sa kajos, it's a red beans. Kajos, um, B for baboy, which is the pork. And L is langka, which is the jackfruit. So, kung lang kumakain ng taro, kaya kunti lang niluluto ko. And yung ibang maliit na cut ko, um, ginadunot ko na siya, I smash it para medyo malapot yung sabaw niya. hindi naman sila kumakain nito. Ako lang. Kaya. So, mainly, ito yung original na, na sangkap talaga ng sinigang. For dito, uh, mga puti, mga, they love the sinigang. So, 
for those who want to learn how to make sinigang. You need the peppers or jalapeno, you can put any peppers that you want. You have the radish, eggplant, uh, string beans, or baggy beans. It's up to you kung ano available sa store mo. Sa, sa America kasi mahirap maghanap ng mga, mahirap hanapin yung ibang ingredients dito. Especially yung mga lugar na medyo sobrang winter na snow talaga doon. Wala pa masyado mga seafood, ano, mga Asian store. And okra, eggplant, ito yung mga authentic na sangkap niya talaga. And then, and I have here yung tomatoes. I use the cherry tomatoes kasi marami akong cherry tomatoes and I love to put it on like cucumber salad. So, laging cherry tomatoes kasi mas, matamis na siya. And, and this is the lettuce, uh, not the lettuce, but um, ano bang tawag ito? Pechay? Pechay and I mix it with uh, other greens. I won't call it to para mustard, but it's not mustard na vegetable. And I have the onion. These are, this is frozen. Kasi may leftover pa ko last time. So, gagawin ko na. And I have the garlic na ready ko na lagi. So, ginagrind ko na to. Lagyan ng olive oil para every time when I cook, I don't need to chop the garlic. ba Para tapos na. So, ngayon, dahil tapos na yung prep natin sa vegetable, we're gonna wash yung ating... So, I always have the extra container para sa mga trimmings ko. Parang hindi naman kalat ng kalat. So, I put it para isang tapo na lang. And now, uh, maglilinis tayo ng pork shoulder. Ito yung pork shoulder. Uh, $6 lang siya. $6 and, and 3 cents. Uh, ilang pound to? Sandali. Kailangan ko ng salamin. Ayan. Two... May higit siya 2 pounds. So, 2 pounds... Yung ito, mga 2.16 pounds to be exact, yung binili ko ito for the price of $6.03. So, ito lang gagawin ko actually, it's not the meat that I'm looking for, white. It's the, it's the bone. Ito yung nagpapasarap, it makes up the broth. So, I just want the bone to just flavor the, yung base natin na soup. So, we're gonna make a pork soup on this one. Alright, maybe you can explore. Beef is okay too to make this one. Pero original, we use the pork talaga. So, minsan they put the pork belly kasi paborito nila yun. Pero ako, I don't really eat pork and they don't really eat pork here in the house. So, all I need is the bone. Kaya bumili ako ng pork neck bone. It's not a shoulder. So, it's a pork neck bone or pork shoulder. Either way, as long as maraming bones... It's good for the soup. Alright, let's wash this. Ayan, i-wash lang natin to. I use hot water to wash it para matanggal talaga yung yung, yung dumi. Yung iba, pinapakuluan mo na to, tatanggalin yung first na water kasi medyo madumi. So, you will just wash it. Well, I use gloves kasi nga meat siya. I don't want it in my hands. Sa Amerika kasi, medyo spoiled ka a little bit. You, you know, lahat dito, walang mayaman, walang mahirap. Everybody can afford to buy kahit anong food, kahit anong mga, ano man siya na accessories or pwede mong ma-afford nila. So, dito, masyadong wasteful ang mga tao when it comes to food. Kasi mura lang yung pagkain. For the dollar value, mura lang siya. Pero, don't convert it sa peso because it's gonna be expensive. Pero, for the dollar value, ayan. Gasan lang natin. Ang nangyikain sa ko kasi nung gasan ko yan. Kasi, hindi vlogy pa. Yeah, I think it's okay now. So we're done. Tapos na yan. We're cooking dahil. Yan, onto na yan. Fat. Just gonna wear my para madumihan yung damit ko. So we're gonna start cooking.
nasunog yung aking I don't put a lot of oil so probably 1 tablespoon of garlic ilagay ko na rin yung yung onion yes, ginigis ako I should pay when I cook the sinigang para mas masara and then when, uh, while I'm doing this i-ready ko na yung bone igigisa natin para mas masarap yung lasa pag nakagisa kaysa ilalaga mo lang siya masarap, oh gising ka na you know I almost forget uh, Christian has the second dose vaccine so I'm making the sinigang yeah Ayan. Oh, yeah, you're making this in a gang. There you go. Favorito mo. So I'm gonna make this in a gang. Yeah. Super sour. You like it super sour, yeah. Because when the mga boys to be to, super sour in a sinigang. Only so, because you like it super sour. You don't like it super sour? Oh, I said I like it super sour because you taught me how to like it really super sour. Yeah, it's really good, right? Very good. And there is a new brand ng sinigang. Oh, yes. Can you reach this one? Which one? Uh, you know what? Up I can here. reach it. Yeah, there good. you go. Nice It's my extended ladder kasi masyadong mataas. Meron na uh, dito sinigang that I use. Na kay Mama Sita, meron na pala siya. Ayan, I have the leftover. Masarap at maanghang. This is yung hot, yung hot chili na sinigang. Ayan, masarap kay Mama Sita. And then I mix it up. I mix it with the regular one. Yeah. Yan. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, I mix it with this one. Para hindi masyado maanghang kasi mm. sobrang anghang niya talaga. Mm -hmm. So, sate lang natin to hanggang sa mag-brown. Ayan. So, uh, I'm just onion. gonna brown it. Swear it para lumabas yung flavor niya and then you add the All kamatis, the tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes kasi it's sweet. Oh, the tomatoes are next? Yeah, okay. nilalagyan po ng kamatis. And then what's the, when, what's, when do you know how to do the next step after the tomatoes? Hindi, pag naluto na yung kamatis, when the kamatis is cool, you're gonna brown it a little bit para pag nilagang mamaya. Yeah. This is the step by step how to make the sinigang. So, you know, I don't use a lot of oil because I'm using the pork. It's oh. gonna, you know, it's gonna have an oil anyway. So I just use it just to have the flavor and burn. Um, not really burn, but we're gonna brown the, we're gonna brown the bone. Ah, okay. So yeah, the pork gives the nothing. sinigang a really good flavor. Yeah, we don't really need the meat because we don't eat a lot of pork. Just but when we make the sinigang, it's either I will cook the sinigang from the pampano or buttered fish or salmon. Yun ang ginagamit ko sa sinigang. But they don't want any seafoods right now dahil marami. Sure. We just good. done eating all the seafoods that we have in the fridge. So ngayon, what we like is the, is the bone. Ayun bone yung, the it's just the flavor of the broth. That's what we like. So kaya gumagawa ng ano. But, you know, probably I like a lot of tomatoes. So sinigang ko, and then I use like half of large size of the onion. Yep. I cut it the way you want to cut it because the mamaya, it's, when it's softened, magano lang yun sa sabaw natin sa soup, and then, you know. It's a good flavor oh, too. Oh, oh, I got a squirter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> little squirt. There's a squirt in there. A little squirt against the wall here too. Yeah, I need to wipe it because I brushed it yesterday. Okay. And I know I hear I, I use the... Oh, it's dripping, so we gotta catch it. Is it drip? Do you think? Okay. Here. There you go. Did you see it? I just like try to get rid of the palset gun. Kewalana. So I brown lang natin to and every time I cook this it hey, ito yung favorite ko chaka yung isang burn one. Kuri to kung gamitin to kasi ayan, ayan. Nigaana tayo. Oh, yes. I see. You want kind of like the redness on the onions before. Ah. Not the redness. The redness is, is from the, the, the tomatoes. tomatoes, but this is sweet tomatoes, ah, cherry tomatoes. Okay. I see what you're doing. But we want yung brown na yan, yan ang masarap sa ah. sinigang. So, ito na yung kamatis at maluluto Maybe pa yung I can actually make this. Yeah, you know how to make this actually. But, no. Lagay na natin yung... Yung and, that's, and, that's, bone. and that's pork neck, right? Yes. Neck, the neck yeah. part? Neck. neck or shoulder, pwede rin. I like, may mga laman-laman pa siya. 
this is like two pounds. And we got that at, uh, neck, at uh, neck bone. And you could get that anywhere pretty much, right? Yeah, yeah. Smith's, if it's CD. Any good um, Asian store as well? Oh, yeah, any Asian store can do that. So we, we're just going to brown it. And while I'm browning it, I'm just going to wash para. Nasame kasi ako before when I worked in the kitchen. You know, I like I like everything na in order. Tapos, laging pag nagamit ko yung ano, hugasan ko agad para. When you're done cooking, wala kang hugasan kasi nahugasan mo na. So, antay lang natin mag-brown yan. I'm gonna cover that, but I like to flavor my, yeah, probably for the pepper, I use the coarse ground pepper. Ayan. Coarse ground pepper. Hey, Roz, do you think this bread is still good? Yeah, uh, you know what, I have a new one that Christian wants me to make. I probably put, I, I, I like to put a lot, but I'm a flavor talaga. Uh, maybe like, you know, one teaspoon, I will put, and I will start to flavor the meat. Pwede naman sa last flavor, but I like, I always like to just do this on the bone para mag-absorb siya. And I use the garlic salt. Ayan, garlic salt. Ah, uh, yan lang nilalagay ko. Pag when I saute, or gisa, pag nagisa ka, tapos lulutuin ko muna. Yeah, I just ate that one, the cinnamon, and then I put the egg salad sandwich. Christian loves the egg salad, so. Nag-boil siya kanina ng six eggs. And if you want it, it's in the fridge. Okay. I-brown lang natin to. You like that little ball, don't you, Christian? Yeah. That's for my exercise ball, Christian. So. <laughs> Not anymore. You have the ball outside, just use that one. That's for my exercise. Yeah, but that's... Ayan. Ibrown natin yan. Pan natin. And then, that's it for now. Hanggat sa maluto siya mag-brown. So, we're just gonna wait until maluto siya mag-brown. And then, we're gonna open up. I ready na natin. So, I have all the ingredients ready here. Ayan. What do we got? Uh, all the sinigang. We have oh, the... taro. Uh, is yeah, taro, the radish, labanos. I don't eat, but it it's makes up flavor. with the flavor of the soup. We have the eggplant. I eat all of this. Uh, they don't like this one. It's I okay. probably the one ended, you know, eating all these vegetables. And this one, a lot of vegetables. Cause, ah, ayan. ayan. Gusto ko yung vegetables na yan. Mm. So, all right. Yun lang. And Scott is going to have his coffee. Coffee and bread. And bread. Bread lang, walang egg salad. Mm, yeah, wala. <laughs> wala? Wala. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Alright, antayin na natin mag brown down and then we'll go back to our city again. Ooh, I, I could fill a ball. And then I could actually... So, nag brown na siya. This is the... This is the color that oh, I want. No, no. Kasi, oh, when you saute it, lumalabas talaga yung color niya. Tsaka nagbibig yung blood niya, nagbabrown siya. Ooh, nice. Oh, no, no. Smells great. And then... Yeah, but don't put it in the fridge because uh, when I make bread, I use uh, okay. I need a room temp. You know. We have a new recipe. Nagagawa namin ni Christian. It's a Korean. What do you, What do you want? But you're gonna help me. What's what? It's a Korean hot dog um, sandwich. No, yeah, it's I think it's a sandwich, but with a hot dog in the middle. A pig in a blanket. You know? No, it's um. It's not good, it's, it looks good, but it's made of Korean. Yeah, it's and made of Korean people. It's a cream cheese. I think that's a cream cheese. You know, we just need to simmer it. Para lumambut lang. So it will tenderize. So we'll just, I open it para hindi lumagpas yung ano. And we'll just wait until it tenderizes the meat. Usually, yung pork naman madali lang magpalambut eh. So, we'll just wait and then titimplahin na natin after. Alright. So, we'll check it and while it's simmering, I'm gonna put this one here. The, this one for the flavor. Yellow chili? Yeah. 
it's not spicy. I mean, not that veggie is good, but just a little flavor. We already have the spicy, uh, sour, powdered. You know, the sour powder is the bomb. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it there for the flavor, and then the rest I'll put it later. And I'm gonna put the little small chunks of my. Oh no! Oh, that's our own. Oh, okay. I like it. The gulai, right? Are they all gulai or? They are, these are all gulai, but I want to put the small cut, see? Of oh, the taro. Of the taro. To thicken the sauce a little bit, and I like it because you guys don't eat the taro anyway. It's okay. I like eating taro sometimes depending on how it's cooked. Well, I want to smash it inside the soup and then I'll just. That's okay. Like, a little bit of it, just enough for me to eat. Just smash it in the soup, that's fine. Yes, and like it's because it makes it like... Yeah, I know. It, you know what's great about the taro, at least from the I mean, times that I've had it. Look at this! Oh my yeah, god! it looks so yummy. The sabon's already looks really good. What I like about the taro is that it accepts the flavor of anything you cook it with. Yes. So well, it makes up the flavor of sinigang. You know, usually when I make sinigang, sometimes I don't put any like the sibuyas lang, the onion, and the, that's a simple one, onion, and the kamatis, and I'll just put the sour powder, kasi wala naman kumakain ng gulay, ako lang, so if I don't want to eat yung ano, wala na lang gulay, that's it, because they this, just um, only need the stuff, but this, um, there's that one word this is radish. The, oh, radish. Uh, what, what was the other one? Radish. Uh, ano pang sabi ko dito sa Tagalog? Uh, basta, nakalimutan ko. Kanina na-mention ko yan eh. Alam ko. Alam ko, pero uh, sige, I mo. can't remember it. Um, <laughs> ano nga ba ito? Singkamas. Singkamas. Hindi singkamas. Singkamas is the hikama. Right. That's so, not singkamas. So when we went to That's the... radish. I don't like the... So, I don't like to eat rad the radish. I just want its flavor on the soup. So when we went Kalimutan to... Kalimutan ko. Sige, kung nanunod kayo, then comment kung ano yung radish sa Tagalog. But I know I will remember it. <laughs> dahil, I, oh, I'm very, very forgetful. So, nakalimutan ko kung anong tawag yan sa aton. Labanos! Okay, now I remember. See? Labanos, I remember. Labanos, like, you know, bahay po po. Labanos mustasa, I think. Yeah. So, this is labanos. Oh, labanos. It's good. The flavor is really good for the... And then what's eggplant? Wait, wait, wait. I know that one. Okay. Um... Sige, hulaan mo. Um, I, know this one. I know this one. Eggplant. It is... Uh, I just can see your... It starts with letter T. Start with letter T and we make that... It's not... Oh, talong. <laughs> Yeah, because you love tortang talong. Yes. <laughs> time. Uh -huh. No, time is a spice. No, it isn't. T -Y -M -E. Yeah. Time, time is a spice. T-H-Y-M-E. T-I-M-E. Time. Time. Oh, time. Oras. Sige nga, both of you. Kung sinong magaling sa inyo sa ano. Tingnan ko nga. What is... Um, what is the... Beef sa Tagalog. Anong beef? Bistek. <laughs> what? Bistek is a kind of dish. <laughs> right, right. Hey, Christian, what is the beef in Tagalog? Beef? Yeah. Anong beef sa Tagalog? Beef. Bistek. No, it's not. I yeah. know it's not. Uh, anong beef sa Tagalog? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Carne. Carne, no. bistec is a kind see. of dish na that you cook. It's but like adobo, but bistec is the Tagalog dish. Ah, okay. Kaya yun, ayun sila sa sala. Yan, ayun sila. There you go. So, okay, zero points for both of you. Zero points. And, ano pa bang, what else? So, what is pork? Oh, uh, pork. And of pork. Uh, oh my God. I know this one. I just <laughs> can't recall it. Pork, really? Christian? Puerco. No, that's me. Puerco. <laughs> Christian? Wait, I know this I one. I forgot. Why don't I know I this? Know, I know. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't. It's like sinigang nang. Sinigang no what? What are we cooking right now? We're cooking pork. What is pork know, in Tagalog? Trying, I'm trying to remember. Da boy. Da boy. Da. Oh my I god. That. I knew that one. You guys are, you know. I knew that one. 
You guys didn't pass a test. Okay, one more. One more. Ano yung chicken? Of course, you know that chicken, Christian. Manok. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly but surely. Okay, tingnan na natin yung niluluto natin. All right. Okay, so, tell you me. know how I remember um, chicken? Uh-huh. Because I remember we were out with your mom eating. Uh-huh. And I said, Mama, how do you say my, uh, chicken? And she goes, manok. <laughs> and I remember like seeing your face go, ok. <laughs> and so I remember, ok. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Let's check if my na tong buto buto. It is. Yeah. It's not na siya Pwede ko na rin ilagay ito, yung labanos na to. Kasi, yung, I just wanna get the flavor of labanos. Kasi I don't really eat labanos, but I want the flavor on the soup. So, pwede ko na ilagay, kasi medyo malambot na. Actually, pwede ko na siyang ilagay yung mga gulay. Malambot na rin naman, but I like it really soft na nahuhulog na yung meat niya. The meat falls off. So, I like to eat like that. So, para maubos na namin yung sinigang. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm hungry now. It's kind of late for me to cook. Never late. Ever. Never late? <laughs> Never late to cook. Waiting for that one. Okay. Tanong ko. Tingnan natin. Christian, I can't believe you don't know the Tagalog of the beef and the pork. I mean, you understand how when I talk in Ilonggo, in Tagalog, you understand like 90% of it, you just don't speak the language. Okay, sige. Ano ang coffee sa Tagalog? Anong coffee sa tawag? Sa Filipino? I don't know. And what is coffee? Kape. Ha? <laughs> Galing ni Scott, ah. So, kape ang tawag. Yeah, ayan. Ayan sila. They watch you. So, I have this one kasi... <laughs> This one, ginagamit ko pag dilig ko sa indoor plants ko. So, I put water. Water lang siya. And the banana na kinainan ko na banana. I put it. I leave it overnight. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna water my plants. So, when I'm ready to water my indoor plants, I only water it like once a week. Or sometimes, it depends sa temperature ng bahay namin. If it's too cold, pag 71 or 70 temperature, Sa eight ng AC, then, you know, I water it like once every two weeks. So, twice a month, I water my indoor plants. It's very, very green. Ang ganda ng ano, pag ito yung winater mo. So, ito na yung kanila parang fertilizer. So, I really like this one. Tell them about our money tree. Yeah, the place. money tree there. Uh, where is it? Uh, this way. Uh, other way, other way, other way. Oh, because um, it's like the money tree. Where's the money tree? It's right there. Started really you, small, little baby. Oh my god, tree. that is like three years old, four years old, huh? Three it's, years old. At least. Three years old. So now let's check. Malambot na to. We can put. Let me check for the meat. This is like after 40 minutes. Madali lang yan. Madali na kasi yung beef ma. Ano. Tingnan natin, malambot na siya. Malambot na siya, but not to the extent that I. I want it, so I need more time. But I'm going to add on a little bit of water. Probably like a total of 8 cups in the water. So, I'm going to boil and simmer it again and wait. Until lumambot ang pork. Lumambot na rin siya. Kumukulo na siya. Ayun, pwede na. So now we will put yung lagay na natin yung taro. Yeah. 
Ba pinapanambot natin yung taro? Nanambot na rin yung fork, so. Taro muna, and then, you know. Total time, probably, when you cook the sinigang, depende sa ano. Um, just, mga one hour, when you cook the sinigang, kasi papalambutin mo yung pork. Depende yung kind ng pork, eh. Sometimes, when it's old, na yung matanda na ba, yung yung baboy, medyo matagal. So, kailangan mabata pa, di ba? Pinipili natin. But I don't know, hindi ko malaman kung bata yun o matanda. Basta pag lumambot, okay na sa akin. So, antayin lang natin na lumambot. We'll just simmer it. And then, after probably 10 minutes, or 5 to 10 minutes, manabot na yung taro. Mga 5 minutes lang siguro. We're gonna wait for 5 minutes. And then, we'll put the rest of the vegetables. Last na yung pet chai. So, we gonna check. I think this is... We're gonna put... The balatong. We're gonna put this one. Ang sarap. We're gonna put the balatong. I'm not really fond of eating balatong or string beans. I like the baggy beans. But, ito talaga nilalagay sa sinigang. This is what you put when you make the sour soup. So, this Filipino dish, yung sinigang, a lot of my uh, white friends, they love this kind of soup. And this is the soup na ginamit ko during my finals sa culinary. So, since ako yung Ginawang president sa group namin, head ng group namin for the culinary, I use this dish for our final presentation. And you know, a lot of, of their family, yung mga classmates ko, sila din yung mga, mga pumunta. So it's a lot of people that came and they love this soup. But I didn't use the bone. That one, I used yung pork belly. And yung appetizer, it was... Uh, that's really like, uh, ano sila sa appetizer? Uh, I made the egg roll. And yun talaga ang pinakamabenta ko din. And this sinigang, they love this sinigang. Ayan, ang sarap. Even yung head chef namin, they love the sinigang. And where I, where I work, they make this sinigang actually. In a different version, they it's it's just a fusion when they make the sinigang. I work in the fast paced na na career before. I work in the kitchen and I work some buffet, so so brang busy. And I like to make the sinigang for them. It's a favorite nila to. So lutong lutong na to. I like it itutong luto because yung flavor lang naman yung gusto ko. And then, pinapalambot ko lang to. Yung balatong na to. And I'll just add on the okra. I love the okra. I don't eat okra before. But, you know, when you're aging, you appreciate yung food talaga na healthy food. <laughs> so now, I love to eat this one. And I'll just put the talong to. I only like the talong na, ano, but it's tortang talong I love. So, it's easy to make the sinigang. Just this one. Mostly, hindi ako ma, ano, sa mga vegetable ng Filipino. Like this one, yung talong. If it's not torta, I don't really like. But the flavor, total flavor sa buong sinigang, you can taste it sa broth mo, kaya, kaya ko siya nilalagay. And then, takpan natin. Kuluan ng mga 2 minutes lang, kaya ito na rin naman yan. Magbis maluto yung vegetables. And then, we put the dahon. The leaves. Yung gulay. Okay, let me do this. So, after 2 minutes, we don't want to overcook the vegetables. Lalagay ko na yung mga dahon ko. Yeah. The hard part 
This is the one na nilalagay ko muna. Kasi matagal maluto to. Pero yung flavor nandito masarap. Hmm. Actually, one minute lang na pinakulo ko. And then, I'm gonna add one more. And kasi we don't wanna overcook yung mga green vegetables. This one, I, I don't I don't care if I overcook this, that, that, that eggplant and the radish because I don't really eat those. Just the flavor that I want to put in the soup. This one, I'm not really a egg fan. The only thing that I like is this. But when I bought it, it's just in a package and completo na siya. I have everything in the gulai as a package because I only need a, a few of it. So... Meron na. Pero if I buy it individually, it's more expensive than buying the $9 worth of all these vegetables. So, antayin lang natin. I'm not gonna cover it because I don't want to overcook your vegetables. So, I leave it open. And it's very, very simple to make the sinigang. And then for the... How about put yung... Yung powder, yung sour powder, tamarind powder later at the end of the cooking. Kasi pag nilagay ko ngayon, it's tamarind, so yung tamarind may acid. Ang acid, it creates, nagba-brown yung green vegetable. So, I'll just put maybe one teaspoon of salt. Kasi maalat na yung sinigang mamaya, so I'll just put salt. The flavor it, so magiging, ma-enhance yung color ng green, magiging... Uh, mas sharp yung color ng green when you put yung asin sa green veg. So, yung acid kasi, pag nilagay mo sa green vegetable, nagiging wilted, nag-turn into brown. But, acid is good for white color lang. Mga radish, yung titingkad yung mga kulay niyan. Pero, sa mga green, hindi, wag mong ilagay. You have to put it at the end. Otherwise, mag-brown yung kulay, hindi maganda. Hindi siya masarap kainin. It's not inviting to eat. Kaya ako nilagyan ng... Ayan. Kunti na lang. So now, I'm gonna put this. Maluluto. Mainit kasi yung sabaw. So maluluto din yan. I'm just gonna put the dahon. I'm not gonna put all the leaves. Kasi, I want it fresh every time I eat it. So, I will put the amount that I can only eat it pagluto na to. And then, the rest of the leaves, I just put it in the fridge. And then, when I'm ready to eat the sinigang again for the leftover, if there is a leftover, then, lalagyan ko ulit ng dahon. Okay? So, hindi ko natatakpan dahil mag-overcook siya. While waiting for that one, I'm just gonna wrap yung leftover na le, ano, ano to yung mga dahon na to the vegetables so that's how I eat the vegetables when I'm ready to eat that's when I put yung vegetables especially when it's green and then it, it's fresh if you know every time you eat the soup Lagay mo yung fresh na green leafy vegetables niya. And so, lagay mo lahat. Then, you cannot finish naman lahat ng vegetables na green. So, huwag mo nang ilagay, di ba? Pag ininit mo, then you can add off para it still looks fresh every time you eat. It's not a lot of work kasi kaysa naman ilagay mo, hindi mo naman mauubos yung mga vegetables niya. So, yung mga green leafy lang, ha? Then, you don't need to put everything. So, ayan. Tapos na to. Ah, titimplahin ko na. Uh, it depends on your liking. I still have half of this spicy. I'm gonna put a little bit. Uh, well, yung a little bit is not really a little bit. Mga one teaspoon ng hot na tamarind sinigang or they called it uh, sampalot mix 
and then I need another like I like it really really sour so using ko na siya para mamix ah oh no para mamix yung lasa and that's it so let's try kung tama na yung simple niya see ni mix ko mix ko lang siya you see Mmm. Mmm. It's so yummy. I'm gonna add all of this one. Yung maanghang. I know Christian doesn't like it with the maanghang. But I have okay, a little finish. bit. I'll, I'll be oh my ready. god, it's so good, babe. It is? It's good. I'm so, not gonna make it too spicy. So before we, before we finish the video, though, we gotta remind him about something. Alright. If you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that little like button, that little thumbs up. And that yes. little subscribe button with the bell, so every future video, so every future video, you're able to get on time as it happens. We're gonna have some really fun things coming here soon, and uh, the only way for you to get access to all of that is if you hit the like button and the subscribe button, and don't forget the little bell. Yay! Okay, Tikima, Tikim, Tikim, Tikim. Oh, it's Tikim. See if it's. Right, on your you. liking. Okay, is it sour enough? Yeah, you blow it. Sarapa. Oh, that's oh my god, it's so mm. good, huh? That's perfect. So the sinigang is done. Yay. I just want to eat it. I don't like it like mushy vegetables. Some people like it like fresh, but I like it a little bit of mushy vegetables. It's and good. some people they like it like, you know, yung hindi masyadong luto, it's not too cooked. But I like the texture yes. of like this one. See? And, so good. Uh, and the other thing is, is that if you have any ideas for new videos that we, you want us to make, whether yeah, it's an interaction us. video or another... Any suggested videos any suggested that you video, like just, cook. just leave a comment below. Let us know, like, I'd love to see a video of you guys doing this. Or, yes. you know, we're in Las Vegas, so we have a lot of places that we could go or things that we could see. And so if you have any... Any ideas, just put a comment below, okay? Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. All right. Bye. Bye. Kain time. The thing that's in the gang is you're eating it without the rice. So li rice is life. And I forget to cook rice. So now we're going to cook rice. So now we're going to sign our the fry. So to cook rice, we're going to wash it until the water is clear and by the way we don't measure when we put water we use our this one here or this i'm gonna wash it because of all the chemicals in the rice so you just do that see use your hands Para hindi matapon yung... And that's it. And then you use liquid water. And if you want, you can measure. I put two scoops of jasmine rice. So, jasmine rice it doesn't need a lot of water. So, I put one is to one. If it's long grains, you need more water, probably two cups of long grains, you put two and a half cups. And that's it, it's done. So you just wipe it and then cook. And then put it in your rice cooker. Yeah, there you go. Mm. And that's it, it's fast. So the rice is cooked again. One up for this one. Mm. Yeah. Eat a lot. Pag siniga. So, alright. Sarap? Yeah? Yeah. Hey. Yan yung ulam mo ha. Mamayang gabi ulit. Lunch and dinner. Siniga. Alright, Christian? Okay. How's it? Good. No rice? No, yeah. Okay. Mine, I use quinoa for my siniga. Because I don't feel guilty eating a lot, it, a lot of it. I usually I will get half cup of quinoa.
Yeah. And it's good, huh? Quinoa's good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. it's very good. The meat's good because it soaks up the sauce. Yes. Yeah. You like eating the bone, huh? Mm -hmm. Just like a dog. <laughs> well, because it's really... Uh, the flavor's dog. there. The flavor's there. And the spiciness of mm -hmm. the... Hot, uh, in yeah, I like that. I like that. that. Uh, it's good, huh? Spare some for the dog, boy. <laughs> Yeah, no dog. Have. We don't have a dog. Have Not a yet, dog. at least. Uh, so that's why you finished. Oh. <laughs> My dog that I used to have, though, would love eating this. Mm -hmm. Big old dog. Yeah. Oh, where's the napkins? No napkins. We're, they run out, that's why I have to go out. Bitch. The butto is really good. You like the butto? Yeah, it's very good. The soup, I like. Mm -hmm. This is the first time that I've tried it with that Mama spicy, yeah, that spicy, spicy, yeah. spicy. But it's not overkill spicy, that's the good thing. Mm -hmm. Ouch, it's so hot in the past. Oh. <laughs> Did you get that taro? Mm -hmm. I like the taro too. It's good, huh? And plus the flavor is there. That I, have it I smash it, the small one, that's why. That's good. Yeah, I have it soaking in the soup right now. <laughs> wow. Are you done? All done. Hey guys, it's Scott. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and um, are excited to go make your own sinigang. Um, obviously, as you can tell, I absolutely loved it. Christian loved it. Roz loved it. And uh, mm -hmm. just want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video today. And uh, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. And uh, just... Be on the lookout for what's coming. We have a lot planned, a lot is coming, and we're all going to have a really fun time as we continue to make new videos for this channel, create new experiences, and just have a lot more fun. All right? Okay. All right, guys. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.